Hey all, this is Jenna from the Kelly Bell Designs creative team. I am so excited to share this Project Life app tutorial with you. The app is free in the Apple App Store and in the Google Play Store, so go ahead and download it or update your app and see what it's all about these days. The initial free download of the app comes with several card kits, fonts, and templates to get you started, along with in-app purchases, of course. It's based on the Project Life Pocket Style Paper Scrapbooking System that Becky Higgins LLC became known for. It's basically a collage style app, but the draw is the card collections inside as well as the ability to access cloud storage and of course our photos app. So we can use other card collections like Kelly Bell Designs cards and papers. The app debuted in the fall of 2014 and has had some user interface updates recently. Each update to our phone just makes it easier and easier to scrap in the palm of our hands. So if that sounds even remotely interesting to you, again, I encourage you to download or update the app and give this a try. Let's begin by going to some apps we'll be using. I am demoing on my iPad, uh, but everything I'm doing today, you'll be able to do on whatever device you have, whatever mobile device you have, or tablets or iPad. So of course we'll need Safari for navigating to the Kelly Bell Designs website, our email to receive those purchase links, our files app is what we'll use to store the cards, and our photos app for our photos. And of course the download of the Project Life app. Let's get started by going to the kellybelldesigns.com site and type that into your window up there. And then I'm gonna search for the card pack I'm gonna use today. It's the 50th. So you'll search for whatever you're looking for or just let the uh, website <laughs> show you what you want. <laughs> okay, there's one there. The, full, the mini kit is right there. And then we've got some gorgeous sample layouts to look at and then other coordinating products. I am going to be using this card pack and this card pack today. And so I'll purchase those and, you know, follow the directions to purchase, you'll get the email, and I'll show you how to download and unzip, unzip the card pack right on your device. Okay, we went through the purchasing process and now we're going to double check our email for the order. You're gonna scroll down to these links and we're gonna tap on each one to add them to our iOS files app. So we'll start here with this one and you'll tap the download button. And up here is where you will see that it has downloaded. So <laughs> did you see the little circle with the arrow inside kind of move a little bit and it tells you it's right there. So let's navigate back to our email and click on the second one. So let's do that. Download that one. And again, it'll show you when it's done. So you can tap there and tap on one of these to navigate to your files app. And there are the zip files you just saved. To unzip them right on your device, you simply tap on it to unzip. It's as easy as that, you guys, it is so easy. You used to have a um, unzip app that would help you unzip things, but iOS doesn't need that anymore. Uh, they finally, finally just made it easy to do right on your device. So I'm gonna leave them right here, but you could open up one of these to see all the items inside. Um, to download them to your camera roll, which some people might wanna do, you can select, select all, deselect the folders, and then you would come down here to share, or it might say save on some devices. So you can save those images to your camera roll, Add them to a shared album if you're using multiple devices, that's helpful. And, or you can save them to another cloud. I use OneDrive a lot. I am gonna leave them right where they are, like I said. So I'm just gonna tap Done to deselect everything. And now I'll show you how to create a page. All right, to create a page, let's come to the Project Life app and open it up. Uh, I am again demonstrating in landscape mode, but if you're in portrait mode, it'll look very similar. Uh, the app toggles through some pages you've made. If you haven't made anything in the app, nothing will be there yet. But let's begin on this home screen where we will create our page. This library takes you to all the pages you've made on all the content the app carries. You can order photos or photo books here. 
You can ask questions and set preferences here, which is something you might want to do once you're more familiar with the app. But let's begin by going to uh, create a collage page. So we're going to start here. And when you tap on one of these uh, pockets, for lack of a better word, I'm calling them pockets. Um, you have two icons in the upper right corner. The one on the left is to, uh, for your photos and cloud storage, and the one on the right is for the in-app card content. So let's begin with our photos we're gonna add. I'm gonna tap on the photo picker. Another term I say that may or may not be the right word, but that's, <laughs> that's what you'll hear me say, the photo picker or the card picker. So let's go to the photo picker and add some photos from an album we have set up. I want this group photo up there. And this is like one of the downloads they gave us for free during COVID. So it's not large um, image quality, but I'm going to add it anyway. You saw that pop up, right? Okay. I want to leave my camera roll open actually because you can navigate to each pocket and add photos consecutively. And then you can go back and kind of edit and tweak them as you need to. So I want to add that one there. And I think I want some... Um, want over here in this one, this big 50th. Look how gorgeous that is. That's my little countdown. I'm going to use that. And I think over here, I want Mickey. Add that photo. It's fine. Again, that's my decision. When you add a photo that, let me do it again and I'll show you. When you add a photo that it says is too small for the pocket size, It'll give you the resolution and you can decide. Now, don't do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> if you have a problem with that, I add them anyway most of the time and they're fine. That's my decision. You got to make that one on your own. Okay, moving on. Uh, now we can go to some of the card packs that we uh, downloaded. I think I want journal cards in all of these other pockets. So let me tap on this pocket and now... Um, well, we can navigate back to it right here. So you can tap right there on the name of the album and be taken back to all your albums in cloud storage. And so I'm going to tap cloud, browse. And if you don't see the card pack pop up, you will go to on my iPad and tap on downloads. You can also favorite a folder by pressing and holding and favoriting it and it'll show up down here to be easier to access. I've already done that. I'm going to leave it as is. So in that upper left pocket, I think I want, which kit was that one in? I don't remember. I'll have to look. Not that one. I think it's in this one. Uh, I want to use, you know, I think I want to use this, even though that's not exactly four by six dimensions. Let's see. Tells me what it is. I can decide if I want to use it or not. I'm going to go ahead and use it. I think that one's super cute. I love that one. Um, okay. Now, you know how I was going in and out of my photo album? It doesn't do that with cloud storage. You have to navigate to it every time. That's why I suggest favoriting something so it's just maybe one or two less taps. Okay. In that pocket, I think I want... Oh, they're so cute. There's too many. This one. Add it. Oh, you know what? I want this card in this pocket. So I'm going to press and hold to move it over. And then I can pinch or zoom or do whatever I need to do. In this pocket. Oh, excuse me. In, <laughs> in this pocket, I want, it was a yellow, yellow card. Let me see. It caught my eye. I thought it was real cute. It must be in the other kit. So I'm going to go, I'm going to go back to my downloads. And I think it was in this one. Yes, this one right here. This one's so cute. I like that. I think later I'll add the date right here, maybe. Okay, so to show you the easiest way to journal, I am going to use an in-app journal card right here in this pocket. 
All right, the easiest way to journal on a Project Life app page, like I said, is to use an in-app journaling card and use the free fonts and the free journaling feature the app offers in the initial download. But to be able to journal on your photos or a Kelly Bell Designs card, you need a one-time purchase upgrade called Freeform Text. This feature allows you to journal on anything else, and it is a little finicky. It is a little temperamental. We were in love once. We had to break up. Now we're friends again. If you've used this feature even once, you know what I mean. You have to manually return to the next line because the app can't see the design of the photo or the card that you brought in. It only knows the designated journaling space for its own products. And that makes sense, right? There's no grammar check either or spell check or auto capitalization or punctuation op options. That's just where a little bit of my frustration comes in, but it does get the job done. Okay, let's move on. I just wanted to be a transparent about a paid upgrade, the pros and cons of that. It's a one-time, like I said, one-time upgrade price of $5.99 and you can use it multiple times forever and ever. It's not, you don't pay every time you use it. It's a one-time price. So it is worth it, but I'm giving you the disclaimer here. Okay, I'm going to show you the easy way. You're going to now, instead of coming here for our photos and Kelly Bell cards, you're gonna come over here to the in-app content and a card pack might pop up here or you might have this pop up. This is all of the in-app card content. Um, I, you can favorite some. Here are all the kits that you own and then this tab shows you anything else you could uh, buy. Oh, little, little, oh, I got any, okay, that's a glitch. I haven't bought everything in the app. Uh, let's see. Um, oh, I'm a beta, I'm a beta tester. So maybe that's why that's in there. Okay. Anyway, you will have a whole bunch more card kits show up here and then, uh, my kits and anything you favorite here. And then of course, if something's new to the app, it'll show up here. Okay. I want to go to a favorite kit of mine and it is a free one. You have to go to midnight and download it. And I want to use, okay, I'm in a four by six pocket. Let me, let me share this. The app treats this full page like a 12 by 12. So this is a four by six. This is a four by six. These two as well. And these in the middle are four by three options. So it, if I have this pocket selected, it's only going to show me the four by six sizes. If I have this pocket selected, it will show me the three by four options. And if you want to add one to this pocket and then press and hold to drag it to another pocket, that's your choice. You can totally do that. The for, the formatting and design might look funny, but you just it's always just a, a trial and error. I want to use this coordinating journal card because I think it looks pretty good with these Kelly Bell Designs cards. Okay, I'm going to now, using this journaling icon in the center of the pocket, tap there and paste in some journaling. See the icon right up there at the top that I've already um, typed out in my notes app. You don't need to watch me type out journaling. So I will now adjust some of the journaling features by using the journaling toolbar options here. We can change the color, but I'm going to leave it black. We can change the font, which I am going to change it to the in-app Poppins font. I like that one. I'm going to tap the arrow back to get to the rest of the journaling tools. You can check the size here. I'm going to leave it at 12. Arrow back, check the line spacing here. I'm going to leave it. I'm just showing you all the tools here. I do want to adjust the vertical offset here. So I'm just going to use the plus sign and do some minimal adjustments. If you want to use the slider also, you can do that as well. I'm going to leave it like that. And then here's the justification. I'm going to leave mine left justified, but you've got left, center, right, and full as well. Okay, I think I'm done adjusting my journaling. I think it's fine. If I wanted to add that free form text feature, I can tap this plus sign right here and be prompted to purchase that feature. I don't want to add anything else to this card, so I'm going to tap the X to close out. What I do want to do is add the date to this card. So I am gonna demonstrate the freeform text option minimally. Let's see, so in this card down here, you saw that journaling icon pop up in the middle. That shows you it's the native free journaling options on their journaling cards in the app. If you wanna use freeform text on something you brought in through the photo picker, whether it's a photo or a card, 
your option will be up here. You can also tap here and it will prompt you to purchase the feature. I've already done that. You'll have to go through those steps if you're interested. And I'm just going to type out the date. I think we were there um, October 30th to the 5th. I do want to adjust that size a little bit. So I could go back to that slider here or the plus and minus, or I can just use this corner. I think I'm going to do that. And I want to adjust the font though. I think I want to use this one that is in the app as well. Oh, I should have, you know, you really need to change the font first and then adjust the size. Okay, that's very minimal, very subtle, and I like that. I'm going to just kind of place it right over Walt Disney World and leave it there. If you wanna add multiple text boxes to a card or photo, or if I wanted to even add journaling to that other card I had down here, you just have the plus sign, be prompted to buy the purchase, or purchase the add-on, excuse me, and then you can add multiple text boxes. The problem is sometimes when they overlap a little bit, if I put it right there, it's hard to select the other one if I wanna change it. Sometimes it's hard to, to get the right one. So what you have to do is, oh, I messed up my journaling there. Let me show you the back button. Here we go. Um, it pasted in that stuff. So I'm going to tap the back button and it goes back to the date. Rewind the video if you missed that. <laughs> it was an accident. Um, the back button. Don't forget the back button. It's very helpful. Okay. What I was saying was if you have multiple text boxes and you can't select the right one you want, if you tap this plus sign right here, another text box pops up, but you can completely ignore it. And then you can select the one you really want. That is just because it's overlapping each other and it's hard to select it. But that is the trick that seems to work. So if you use a lot of text boxes, you can select it that way <laughs> if you need to. Just ignore the one that pops up and try to tap on the one you want. Okay, I think we're good here. I think we do need to make some basic adjustments. So we'll do that next though. Okay, it's looking good. It's looking good. But I do want to zoom in on this photo just a little bit and I want to adjust Mickey a little bit. I'm going to just kind of put him right there like here here you go walk down Main Street here's the castle. I might want to adjust that one a little bit as well. I think I'm good and again if you want to swap out a photo and move it around you can do that and then adjust it again. Let me show you right up here when you add a photo to a pocket or an outside, <laughs> whoops, or an outside card, you have some adjustments you can use here. You can adjust the brightness a little bit. You can adjust the contrast and the saturation. You can also rotate anything you've brought in through the photo picker and you can rotate some in-app filler cards. If it has any journaling formatting on it, like title cards or journaling cards, you won't be able to rotate those in-app options, just so you know. You can also integrate PicTap Go if you're an iOS user. Okay, we have covered the very basics of the Project Life app. Be sure to join us in the Kelly Bell Facebook group and follow me on Instagram for more. We look forward to seeing your pages using Kelly Bell Designs cards in the Project Life app. Again, feel free to ask any questions. Thanks for joining me for this brief overview of the Project Life app and happy app scrapping, everybody.